Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest fellow Cancers. This is going to be your August love readings. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, I also want to remind you that if you want to support this channel, there are ways to do that in the description box below. And um, I just want to thank you guys, all of you beautiful souls who are on this journey with me. I love you guys so much and I'm appreciative for all of your support and your well wishes and your messages and um, and everything you guys offer me and just for being on this journey with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this reading. We're going to invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and our ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages that we need to hear. Messages for cancer, please regarding love and romance for August 2020. We have stepped out of cancer season into Leo season. So happy birthday to all my late July cancers and any of you cancer Leo cuspers out there. Okay, hermit energy popping out. I'm gonna keep it. Some of you guys might have Virgo in your chart or just might be exhibiting Virgo qualities, which can be a good thing. All right, temperance in reverse, king of swords, page of cups, queen of wands in reverse, I'm just going to move these over for us. The Devil Energy Capricorn. Okay. And the Nine of Wands in reverse. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Let's see what's going on here in your love life. Your overall energy is the Ten of Cups in reverse. So the Ten of Cups is all about our happiness and it's all about emotional fulfillment. There may be a situation that is no longer working for you. Now, this is a love reading, but remember that love can translate into many different things. But I'm going to be reading it mostly as romance. For some of you, you have a family. For some of you, you've been in a long-term partnership and you're realizing that... It may no longer work for you. Now, I know a lot of my cancers out there, you guys have been doing so much healing, so much energy work, so much advanced level spirituality stuff that oftentimes this will create a divide. This will create, and I'm hearing love and compassion. Please have love and compassion for yourselves and for those that you're dealing with because a lot of you guys are in this process of spiritual ascension. And what happens is when we start to sort of change that timeline or we start to sort of, we start to move forward up level, we can't always take everyone and everything with us and people and situations, even if they're long-term partners, um, family members, somebody that we've loved for a really long time. It doesn't mean that we stop loving them, but we can't, they don't always, those situations don't always continue to resonate with us. And that's what I'm really picking up on. Okay. I'm really picking up on cancers. You guys have been doing the work. You've been healing. You've been doing shadow work. You guys received so many sort of um, crown chakra upgrades. Um, and some of you guys are integrating this. And, and during that process, you're realizing that there are certain people and situations and relationships that are no longer fulfilling or that cannot sort of come along with you on this part of the journey. All right, now I do stress this part of the journey because I am picking up on some of you guys. It's going to be a temporary moving away. And again, love doesn't end. It doesn't mean that, you know, this person or this situation is forever, you know, gone. It just may mean that you have to take this part of the journey uh, or do this part of the journey on your own. And I'm really, that's being reiterated here with the Hermit card. Um, this is about, you know, needing time for yourself, isolation. Again, you're, you're 
you're working through a very, very spiritual process. I'm really picking up on this enlightenment, this up leveling. Look at this heart chakra, it's just there's this diamond there. Um, this energy, this very powerful cleansing spiritual energy. And you know, you're you're on this journey. It's not always pleasant. Some of you may have been going through a dark night of the soul. Again, a lot of you have been purging old behavior patterns and certain relationships. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, throat chakra acting up out of nowhere. Some of you guys need to really <coughs> speak your truth in a certain situation, maybe to your family, maybe to your spouse, to your partner. Okay. Um, and yeah, and there's, there's the need for isolation, which is twofold. One is so you can do the work that's necessary for you at this time. And two is so that you're not so focused on the mundane that you focus more on, you know, the spiritual side of your journey in your surroundings. We have the Sagittarius energy of temperance. So cancer, I'm really picking up on the need for you to heal. There's a, there's a situation that needs to be healed. You might need to be healed. You might have, but you might be in a situation that no longer resonates with you. And and, you know, trying to conform to this or trying to live up to others' expectations, whether that's societal or your spouse or your partner or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or even the expectations that you set out for yourself when you started this relationship. Okay. And again, this relationship doesn't necessarily have to be with somebody else. It could be with your higher self. Okay. But the expectations that you set up here, you know, they, they may have it may have been such a long time that you weren't being true and you weren't being authentic to yourself that now that needs to be healed. There's also a real need to stay away from drama. Um, you know, I, you know, I go on and on about this Mars and Aries energy, but, um, you know, staying away from drama, staying away from the need to fight, um, the need to react because the temperance card is saying, Hey, there's a need here to take that middle ground. And sometimes that's not reacting at all. Using your experience and your maturity to to take the middle road and maybe to give yourself some space and some distance from whatever this 10 of cups is this 10 of cups in reverse. Okay. This sort of emotional drainage. Um, the temperance card is also a reminder that we need to transmute, um, you know, spiritual alchemy and transmutation is really learning from the good and the bad experiences that we have while we're here on this journey. Now, what's blocking us? King of Swords energy. This very well could be a partner. It could be a part of yourself, but the King of Swords is this masculine energy. And the King of Swords is normally very generous gen and very fair. I'm picking up on this as an abusive type person, somebody who's mentally or physically, emotionally abusive. And it may be the way that you're treating yourself, this negative self-talk. Maybe you're being really hard on yourself. Why did I have to do this? You know, you know what you have to do, but then you're beating yourself up about it. I'm also getting there's a need for truth and there's a need for justice. So again, some of you might be dealing with, uh, you know, a family member or a spouse or an aspect of yourself where you are, um, where you, where you have been, I'm getting like gaslighted or told a certain amount of lies for a certain amount of time to keep you where you were. And it's really important that you sit with this energy and you let it dissolve because deep down, trusting your intuition, the journey that you're on is about uncovering the truth of what you need, what you want, and what's for your highest good and for those around you. Now, what's subconsciously affecting this situation? We have the page of cups. For some of you, you may be leaving a situation because there is new love on the horizon. There's a new person or there's something that's really sort of sparked your, you know, your passion, your love, where you're realizing, hey, I haven't been fulfilling my needs, um, my desires, my wants. I haven't, I haven't been in a situation that has been where there's been an equal exchange and I'm no longer willing to support that. So this could be a new person. This could be just a new, um, you know, a new idea, something that you read, something that's really pushing you to start out on a new journey, but one that's true to your heart. Okay. And I really like that the page of cups is also all about an apology. Um, and I know during my weeklies this week, I, I may have mentioned the, um, the Hawaiian prayer, the Ho'opono, Ho'opono Ono. <laughs> I'm sure I got that wrong, but the importance of forgiving yourself. And I'm really picking that up on the King of Swords and forgiving those who have mistreated you, no longer identifying with that narrative and also no longer feeling regret for being 
in touch with what it is you actually need. And even if that means, you know, saying goodbye to someone or something because, you know, they can't meet your needs. Okay. So, you know, there's some, there's, this is kind of an intense reading, you guys. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Wands energy. Now the Queen of Wands, when she shows up in reverse for me is, is a difficult energy. Um, the queen obviously indicates a feminine energy, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a female. Remember that we all have feminine and masculine aspects of ourselves. The queen of wands energy is oftentimes known as, you know, the other woman or the other person. So some of you may have discovered that you were in a third party situation. Some of you may have entered into a third party situation with this queen of wands in reverse in the past, but this is also a situation or a person it could also be an aspect of yourself so take it how it resonates that reacts very passionately and when I say passionately I mean you know the type of person that's going to throw something across the room the type of person that takes one thing that you say or that somebody else says and blows it out of context and just goes you know goes and runs with it because they didn't take the time like we see with this temperance card and I'm really connecting these two this fire energy connecting these two it could be an aspect of yourself or somebody that you're dealing with somebody who just flies off the handle someone who loses their s-h-i-t and you know is willing to say whatever they want to hurt you somebody who's willing to um you know to be abusive to be nasty to say whatever comes to their mind and basically to react without thinking and without a lot of maturity so for some of us you know it could be the way that we have been reacting right we're human we're all guilty of this we all oftentimes regret you know making that move or just or just purely reacting to what somebody said or what somebody did or what we want you know I also get this image of this adult tantrum um, you know which we're all guilty of so when I say this don't you know take it as a knock you know even myself you know included have been guilty has been I have been guilty of this as well so you know it's really important but for a lot of you guys I feel like it's dealing with a spouse or a partner that you've been involved with or it Maybe a relationship that really has affected you really really that maybe there's a wound here a deep wound that needs to be healed and this is a deep wound that involves a lot of drama so what's coming in from above we have the devil energy this is Capricorn this is interesting because um, I'm getting that this actually it, it, it's twofold here one you guys are starting to wake up to how toxic this situation was or is it could be a current partnership it could be somebody that you've left behind it could be a way of behaving you know and it could be something that you know that we've really internalized part of our narrative of hurt um, of hurt and pain and anger and passionate flare-ups okay which you know not always are bad but in this case I'm seeing they've they've actually become something a part of you that's a negative aspect a part of you or this situation or this relationship for some of you it may be a past relationship and again it's a deep wound involving drama that needs to be healed but I am picking up on something else here I am picking up on I am picking up on you may have actually two things there may have been a third party situation that or you know that you, or someone or something that's calling you away from your current situation that's new that's really tugged on your heartstrings that's very passionate and that is an extremely magnetic fiery intimate sexual relationship um the devil energy we often read as bad but it could be just that it's so incredibly attractive that you feel like you don't have any choice in the matter okay um now i know some of you aren't going to like that but that's what i'm picking up on for others of you i'm also picking up on the fact that you know you may be healing some of these old wounds um you may be healing from a very sort of um combative relationship um, or, you know, or a way of treating yourself when it comes to matters of love and you're starting about, you're starting a new relationship. Okay. Something brand new that has almost an addictive quality, but I'm not reading it as bad. I'm reading it as this powerful magnetic attraction. 
Now, what's coming to you, you get the Nine of Wands. This is fire energy, but this is showing up in reverse. The Nine of Wands for me is always about a soulmate relationship. It's always about, um, you know, it's taken lifetimes to collect all of this information. Or if it's about a journey with somebody, it could be the karmic completion Okay, this Queen of Wands in reverse with the Nine of Wands in reverse, a karmic completion here. Okay, now this is interesting because some of you may have been in this Ten of Cups situation and it's, it's been so draining. It's been so difficult. You're coming into this realization that it's toxic. Okay, there's been too many fights. Things have gotten nasty. You've kind of lost sight of why why you're doing this or why you were doing this. Okay, play with time here, you guys. If it's not happening right now, it could be a relationship that's happened in the past. Okay, or you could still be involved in this relationship. But I feel like there's this recovery that needs to take place from whatever this energy was. And there's a need for you to be really true to yourself. And I think it's been such a long time that you have been true to yourself that you don't even know what that looks like. Or you're coming into that knowledge. So that's why we're seeing this hermit energy with the temperance in reverse. I'm getting there's this deep sense of exhaustion. There's a need or want for you to give up on this. But I'm, but I'm seeing it as a good thing. Because I'm seeing it as being a karmic relationship that you've been involved with for quite some time. Many lifetimes. And this is the lifetime where you step off the wheel. Where you learn that lesson. Where you put this to bed. Okay, or you put this to rest. So very, very interesting. Interesting, because I'm really connecting this Nine of Wands, not necessarily to this Page of Cups energy and the newness around this, but actually to this Ten of Cups, this Queen of Wands, King of Swords energy, something that you've been, that you've been involved with for quite some time. And Spirit's confirming it has been for lifetimes. So for some of you, you might be, you might be, you might have been wondering if you were involved in a karmic situation. This would be your confirmation. Okay. Some of you might be wondering, is this really my twin? flame is this my soulmate okay this is your confirmation that it is a karmic situation healer of the ages interesting yes this is enlightenment the healer of ages this is christ consciousness or enlightenment beautiful energy 51 breaks down to a six unconditional love and the need for healing cancer healing from whatever this ten of cups in reverse karmic situation is look at that underneath there we have the four of pentacles this is something that you've been holding on to for a long time because it has become part of your paradigm and 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 that's going away this is being chipped away at you know just as you know we see the strength card in reverse so really this is what's happening during this august during this Leo season, but I'm really picking up cancer that, you know, being that you're starting to realize how much this, how much damage has been done to your self-esteem and your courage and your strength. And underneath there, we have the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning, which I'm associating here with the Page of Cups. Okay. Coming into this knowledge of, you know, what you need, what you want, you know, and it could be with another person or it could be, you know, it could be on a journey on your own for a bit, but realizing that you can no longer support situations that aren't aligned with you or relationships. All right, and then you get the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Not surprising because my throat chakra just act, uh, acted up out of nowhere in this reading. This is the need for you to speak your truth. Gabriel was the ultimate announcer. He announced, um, you know, the the to Mary that she would give birth to Jesus. He also he also dictated the words of the Quran to Muhammad. So this is a message. Look at this. We have these two very powerful characters here. Um, or two, you know, two very powerful cards coming out here about speaking your truth and your authenticity because there is a level of healing that needs to take place. Some of you guys have also been receiving lots of signs and synchronicities, whether this is through dreams, through numbers, through animals, through nature, okay, about what it is that you need to do. And please, please, please trust yourself and what you and what you're seeing. Look at that beautiful 28 another 10 so this is this victory over this karmic completion cancer some of you have been involved in drama in a toxic relationship or situation and this is coming to an end you will be successful this is going to be a brilliant success this is a huge up leveling for you 
All right, and then we get community. I love it, number seven. Um, so again, this is for me, your spiritual team that's rallying behind you, helping you on this journey. There's also a lot, um, you know, I love this because we have these, um, well, I am seeing these three women here. I am seeing this as maybe that for some of you, this does involve a third party situation, but for others of you, this is your spiritual team that's rallying around you to also show you about, teach you about the cycles of life and of love and certain relationships, certain situations run their course. And as much and as difficult as it might be to say goodbye, it's important to do that if that's what's best for you and for the other person. Now, for others of you who may have been single, this is saying, you know what? You might have learned what you needed to learn on your journey alone. Now it's time to open up to this blossoming love that you're being that you're being presented with and the blessings and the abundance that are coming towards you. So there are lots of different messages coming through here, Cancer. Okay, so do take what resonates and, you know, leave what doesn't. All right, let's go ahead and see what our spirit animals have to say to us for Cancer Love, August 2020. I love this is one. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. You know, and the community card. This for me is oftentimes the Three of Cups involving marriage, involving celebration. I do. I see you guys really celebrating this new love or this new way of being, or even just being on your own and loving who you are and what you've learned. Okay, Turtle Spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Lovely. I love that. You know, the turtle always to me is speaks to me, uh, speaks to an old soul. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. Yeah, you know, and sometimes when we get, when we are involved with a lot of drama or somebody who, who snags us or snares us into a lot of drama, it, it doesn't allow us to see the big picture. And spirit saying, you know, there's some big time healing that's taking place here or that needs to take place. And you really need to see what's best for you in this situation. Cancer, time to put yourself first. And turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. Yeah, I love that. So also being grateful, it really speaks to the transmutation of energy that I was speaking about earlier. The need for you to really be grateful for everything that you've been through, everything that you've learned. Also, whatever this Queen of Wands, this King of Swords energy, this Ten of Cups in reverse, everything that you've learned from your past loves and romances, because that's all how, you know, that's all this... That's the biggest part of integrating, helping you integrate what you have learned on this journey. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say. All right, we get make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So following your intuition, you guys, really important here. And then also for some of you, I really am picking up. It's about leaving a situation that no longer serves you, making this great effort, really being truthful about what you need, what you want, what is who, what is your authenticity, you know, the need for healing as well. Now, for some of you, it may not be leaving a situation. It may be taking Taking, it may be taking a momentary break, okay, to work on the healing together to take this relationship to the next level, okay? So Spirit does want me to be very clear with that. It's not all about necessarily leaving one situation for another, okay? For some of you, it is going to be taking this, you know, this break and on this sort of ascension journey where you may come back around, all right, then we get chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Of course there is. I was picking up on that with the devil card. Okay. We get children. Your love life is being affected by children. Some of you may have children with this person. Okay. And we see that here in the Ten of Cups. I'm also picking up on this being soulmate energy. Okay, like that Six of Cups energy. And you get new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You betcha. I was picking up on that with that Page of Cups energy. Ooh, -hoo. all right, Cancer. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna pull some final messages for my Cancers. August 2020, oh my goodness. Let's see, do we take, I'm gonna take all of them. 
There are five, but I feel like you deserve it. Okay, look at that. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all, all that your heart truly desires. Yes, this came up earlier. Blessings, be grateful, right? Be grateful for everything that's coming, everything that you've received. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you. Follow it with faith. Wow, yeah. Confirmation, that hermit energy as well. Emotions are a natural part natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yeah, definitely. So for some of you guys who, you know, I've, I'm picking up this new love is definitely a new person for many of you, but for some of you guys, you've been in a situation where you're going to take some time out. And, you know, because there has been a lot of drama, there might have been gaslighting. But again, with that temperance card in reverse and the queen of wands energy in reverse, this is that reaction. This, these are these emotional distortions. So really taking some time out and healing, you know, and even as a couple, you guys can cut cords. And it doesn't mean that you have to, that means there's no love or that there's no connection between you, but cutting cords with the negative things that have happened in the past. All right, so Spirit's asking you, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So really figuring out what you want and what you need, okay? Because this Ten of Cups here, you guys, some of you are definitely feeling drained. All right, the Nine of Wands energy, you've been holding on to something that isn't for your highest good, and I'm picking up your self-confidence, has really taken a hit, Okay, so solar plexus work, but there is a brand new beginning. And look at that underneath, we have the Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> so for some of you guys, it's a brand new beginning with somebody else. For others of you, it's doing the healing work necessary to bring yourself back into union. Okay, um, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Yeah, interesting. So this is an interesting message I'm picking up on for some of you who are leaving a partnership where there are children involved. I'm really picking up on some of you might have gotten caught up in the divorce proceedings or in the separation about who gets what. Okay, some of it, it there are custody battles. Okay, but for others of you, and Spirit's asking me to not really talk about that so much, but more to talk about, you know, who gets this much money, who gets the house, who gets the car. And Spirit's saying, right now, focusing on the 3D is not going to serve you. When you pass from this world, those 3D things don't go with you, but your soul and your memories with, um, memories with whom you have shared these memories with the people that you love is what's really important okay so again some of you might have gotten caught up in petty kind of stuff material stuff spirit wants you to remember that giving with gratitude and grace you know to be fair here but also to really focus on what's important for you now this doesn't speak much to my singles here but for those of you who are single you know this is about making an effort getting out there you know do you want to continue where you are which is completely fine for some of us or are you ready to open yourself up to love have have you been focused too much on you know on your job on your work and not opening up to that balance that you know that 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 is necessary for a healthy and loving life okay so really getting in touch with your needs and your authenticity okay so I'm going to leave it there, Cancers. I hope that made sense for you. Um, if you're still with me, I love you. Thank you for your love and support. Um, don't be... Um, uh don't be afraid to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or um, I do a little bit of work on Twitter. You can find those links down below. Um, and also, you know, there are ways that you can support this channel if you so choose to down in the description box too. I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.